Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Recess Moment in History, and I'm standing in one of the most recognizable locations in the area, Pine Grove Park. Now in 1870, with the urging of U.S. Representative Omar Conger, President Ulysses S. Grant presented to the city of Port Huron a piece of land to be used as a park. This property was originally part of Old Fort Gratiot and was covered with pine trees where hunting occurred back in the fort days. It was then decided that the park would be named after its natural appearance. Representative Conger served six terms in the House before the Senate legislators elected him to the Senate in 1881. That was the same year that Clara Barton and her friends met at Conger's home in Washington to form the Red Cross. Omar Conger passed away on July 11, 1898 in Ocean City, Maryland at the age of 80. And upon the word of his death, it was proposed that the park be renamed after the only poor hearing representative to ever serve in the U.S. Senate. Once proposed that the park would be renamed, Conger's heirs presented a copy of his will, making it very clear that the appreciation of his efforts for his beloved Port Huron would be enough. While the park would remain Pine Grove, two streets in Port Huron would take the representative's name. Both Omar and Conger streets are now keeping Conger's memory alive. As far as the park goes, it became one of the most serene locations in Port Huron with its gardens, walks, tennis courts, fountains, and large wooden gazebo that would host band music on Sunday afternoons. In 1905, a monument was erected in the memory of soldiers and sailors who had given their lives during the Civil War. While many of the original elements are long gone in the park, the idea of relaxing on an afternoon watching a ball game or just watching ships pass by is alive and well in Pine Grove Park. For Moment in History Extra, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you all that history lives in all of us.